what's happening, what's happening, what's happening. Shout out to all those beginner investors and traders out there. Y'all already know who it is. But if you don't, this is Kavai Ray Valentine. You'd have pulled up to the block market. This is Hood Money Investing. I wanted to show y'all what I was trying to say about AMC. Just Friday. Now, I do admit I was wrong about AMC dropping below 55 bucks Friday, you know, because I was talking about them dropping the price, trying to uh, offset some of those call options that were in the money on Friday. You know, that's one of the reasons why I ended up selling a call option for AMC on Thursday. Remember, I said that on Friday. Uh, what is it, Tuesday? As you can see, uh, AMC went down to 5107. Now, I was two days off, but I want to highlight what I'm trying to get at, you know, as far as these big rips and dips and how you uh, apes, diamond handers, whatever you decide to call yourself, should capitalize. If you haven't been paying attention to the patterns at this point, this has been happening for the last three weeks. OK, now I don't want you beginner investors and traders, out there, beginner investors and traders out there, you know, and if you're intermediate and haven't seen what happened, I mean, if you're a little advanced and you haven't seen what happened to GameStop, I would like you guys, you girls, you beginner investors and traders, you traders out there to make some money. Because this is what they are doing. They are going to keep on, you know, pushing this stock up and down around, you know, the 64, six, maybe 63, $64 area. And it's going to go back from, you know, from th there down to, like I said, 50. I wouldn't be surprised if it went not you know, maybe 48, you know, up. And that's where we're going to keep on bouncing, you know, $40. And between 40 and $60, you know, because you have to remember, uh, I don't even think, you know, we've dropped back down to that $40 region since uh, it went to 38 bucks, I believe. So I think it could do that again. You know, that's just, you know, my opinion. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an investing guru. And like I told you guys, I'm paying attention to the patterns. It's moving like GameStop, but it's moving a little bit more uh, frantic. You know, uh, they halted GameStop a lot and the movement slowed down a lot. You know, as you can see with AMC, it's constantly bouncing and uh, GameStop didn't do that. So this is something new, the way that it's fluctuating. But, um, you know, that's all I wanted to say, man, is I've seen this before. I'm not 100% right, but I do think that you uh, fellow beginner investors and traders out there could make a lot of money on top of waiting for the squeeze. You know, just say if you had... Uh, 500 shares when it went to 70 bucks and then you sold 200 shares you know once that dropped back down to 38 you could have bought those 200 shares back and you would have still profited you see what i'm saying and just look how many times this went up to 63 bucks and then back down to you know that 50 somewhere in the 50 dollar region so within the three weeks you could have probably capitalized an extra couple thousand dollars you know, just scalping and buying and selling, you know, selling and buying back, you see. So that's the uh, uh, that's what I've come to watching GameStop and AMC. And I'm not 100 percent right. But at the moment, if you go back and watch, you'll clearly see all these, you know, big dips and these big rips, you know, with AMC. Look at that one right there. I mean, it's just, it, this is just what, look at that. It's just been constantly happening. So if you go back and check it and just keep looking, you'll see where you would have made, you know, lots of money, even if you were swing trading, you know, or uh, day trading and some, uh, uh, some of these, that's just, for example, today, 
I mean, we were at 50, 51 bucks. I mean, it ripped up to 55. That's, that's, oh my goodness, $5? That's, that, you killed them. You see? So, I mean, I just want you uh, beginner investors and traders to just pay attention, man. Now, I was wrong by two days, but it dropped just like I said it probably would, you know, and that's what they're going to keep on doing. I mean, and because it's a shitload of money to be made when you have millions of investors holding, you know, that means that that price is going to, you know, continuously, you know, go up and down based on how they are buying and uh, selling and from each other, buying back, you know, they're selling, buying back, and that's constantly creating this uh, price fluctuation. And they're making money off of us holding, you know, so... You know, if you don't pay attention to this, that's why I keep on going through bell going back because I want you to see these big rips and these big dips is just constantly happening. You know, so that's all I wanted to say. Uh, I hope you make as much money as possible and just keep paying attention. Um, I'm uh, down right now at the moment. Uh, right now, you know, down 3%. As you can see, um, still holding 330 shares in this portfolio. Uh, I can't go in any of my other ones because, you know, like I've said before, I wouldn't want to make a mistake and accidentally show my account. But, uh, yeah, and then we still have one contract, which is up over 2,000%. Uh, that expires in August. Uh, I've planned on, you know, maybe... Uh, buying a couple more options but uh one thing about robin hood man they'll jack those prices up just to try to make the money back that they lost on your you know call or your put if it was profitable so you know they're outrageous with their prices you know so uh i don't know how many i would possibly make but or, or contracts i would buy but you know i'm thinking about buying back because i know at this point, I know. I mean, I know what AMC is going to do. Uh, I'm not saying it can't get over 100 bucks. I think they will probably throw it over 100 push it over 100 just to keep investors engaged in that $1,000 price target or that $10,000 price target or that $100,000 price target or floor or whatever people want to call it. You know, but at the end of the day, it's so much money to be made uh for institutions that, you know, I just don't think, you know, a lot of us understand what, you know, could be possibly taking place. And I'm not saying I understand it fully. You know, I've just seen, you know, this pattern with GameStop as far as, you know, the rips and the dips and uh, coming across information and uh, doing some homework and some research, learning about short selling and how it's done, and you know, uh, high frequency, high frequency trading, and their abilities to uh, see our orders before you know they're actually uh, putting uh, bought uh, our shares are bought or whatever the case is. It's just like a lot of things that they're capable of. And, you know, it's just no way in hell I think people should sit around and uh, just wait for this to go to 100K or 10K because, you know, you'll be sitting around just as long as, you know, everybody thought GameStop was going to squeeze like Volkswagen in January. You see what I'm saying? So you take that into account that that's been five, six months at this point you know, equate that into what's taking place with AMC. And I'm pretty sure you'll get a good answer. It may not be 100% right, but you'll, you'll see that, you know, they are going to, you know, manipulate this stock as much as possible, just like the dozens of other stocks that are being shorted the way that these companies were. And, um, you know, they're going to figure out a way or they already have figured out a way to make most of that money that they've lost back. I mean, even though they're telling they're telling us that, that you know, Citadel is losing billions of dollars and hedge funds are losing billions of dollars. But I'm pretty sure they're making it back because a lot of them 
you know, they are holding shares of AMC. They're, uh, you know, they have long calls on AMC, you know, and they're shorting the company. So, you know, this is just the things that are, these are things that are taking place that are not just, are, they, they just people aren't saying, saying these things. So, you know, I just wanted to, you know, drop that on you guys. And please, man, uh, just uh, really, 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 you know, pay attention, do your homework, and uh, go back and look at what happened to GameStop. I'm telling you, go back into GameStop, you know, go back in to about, you know, October, November, December, and listen to, you know, some of these uh, content creators talk about GameStop and the potential and go into January around be around the 20th to the 29th and just look at, you know, everything that was coming out around that time when GameStop started to explode somewhere around, you know, the 20th, 23rd or something like that. And um, just watch and pay attention to, you know, how deflated people were, you know, around February. And then March. And, you know, that's when AMC pretty much took over. And somewhere in February, I think, or, you know, beginning of March, and then everybody started jumping on AMC. So, you know, just go check it out. I mean, you don't have to listen to nothing I tell you. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an investing guru. Uh, it's your boy, Vibre Valentine. I'm waiting for AMC to hit uh, about, I think it'll push to about, I think it'll push somewhere in the next two weeks. It'll push strong up to like 67 bucks. And that's my next target around, you know, close to 70 bucks, 67, 68 bucks. I mean, probably anywhere over 65 because we haven't really seen it crush over 65, you know. Uh, and I plan on uh, scalping some more. And once it comes back down again to that $50 area, I'll buy back in and I'll just rinse and repeat. So, you know, just stay tuned, man. I told people, man, we'll be talking about AMC in July when it didn't go to 100K. And let's see what people have to say. You know, I never denied it. I never said or uh, I never, uh, you know, said it couldn't go to 100K. I said it wouldn't, you know, because it's too many, you know, uh, uh, factors that would go into it as far as on, you know, the level we are on, you know, I mean, these people, I don't think they'll allow citizens to have that much power, you know, and so because money is access. So, you know, a lot of people don't understand that, you know, they just see dollar bills and materials and things that you can buy, you know, money is access if you know how to uh, use it, you know, some people just think about buying houses and cars, man, like, money can create so many different problems for people that you just don't understand, and I'm talking about these wealthy people out here that are a part of the 1%, so, you know, not to get too deep into it, but that's just my personal opinion, so, you know, keep on tuning in, and, and I guarantee you, AMC will go back up to 60, it'll come back down, go back up to 60, come back down. This will be the move for, you know, the next, for the rest of this month. And then I wouldn't be surprised if it did the same thing throughout July. I mean, just to keep you engaged. And we know all these good movies are coming out, you know, so it's no excuse for AMC not to move. I mean, it's too many people jumping in. I mean, you got new investors jumping in every day. Uh, you're starting to see... I mean, planes with banners and trucks that are tagged with AMC and cars. I mean, people are talking about getting tattoos. I mean, people are really starting to join this wave. And for the price to still be hovering around 50 bucks, you have to ask yourself what's going on. So, you know, just pay attention. It's goodbye, Ray Valentine. I'm, out. I'm, out. I'm rambling over here, man. I'm out of here. They out there panicking right now. I can feel it. They out there. They're panicking. Look at them. Now, you're not naive enough to think we're living in a democracy, are you, buddy? It's the free market. And you're part of it. 
Something just came across my desk, John. It is perhaps the best thing I've seen in the last six months. If you have 60 seconds, I'd like to share the idea with you. You got a minute? After everything we've done for you. Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. You Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put you on the poorhouse at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. I won. I lost. One dollar. Thank you, Lewis. After you. Certainly. <laughs>